In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a super simple comparison A to B animation, which was requested by a patron over on Discord. Thank you so much, Marvin, for the request. And with that being said, let's jump in. The first thing you need, of course, is footage that you will be comparing. In this example, I'm gonna be comparing S-Log over to properly color graded footage. So to achieve that, I'm going to right click on the footage I want to compare and select new multicam clip. In here, we can just call it whatever we want and push OK. After that, we can go ahead and click and drag this footage down onto our timeline. We can go ahead and double click on this footage on our primary timeline and that will bring us into this multicam timeline. In here, we can add multiple angles and make changes to the multicam, which will be translated across the board in our primary timeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a corrected piece of footage. All we're gonna do is click on this down arrow next to angle one and select add angle. From there, I'm going to push option, click and drag, and that will duplicate that footage onto the secondary timeline. From there, we can go ahead and click on this down arrow and select sync selection to monitoring angle. This is going to use the audio to make sure that everything is properly synchronized. The monitoring angle can be set by this monitor icon on each of the different lanes. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this by clicking on the untitled angle and just call it angle two. Now, all I need to do is jump on over into my effects and apply whatever effects I want onto that secondary shot. So I'll just click and drag that. If I wanna make sure that I'm only viewing the corrected shot up here in the viewer, I can go ahead and set the monitoring angle right here. And that is what is going to show up. So now that that is corrected, we can go ahead and quickly create this animation. Jumping outside of our multicam by clicking on this back arrow, go up to view, show in viewer, and then select angles. In the top left hand corner of the multicam editor, you can see we have audio and video, just video or just audio. This represents what kind of cut is going to be made. Now we don't wanna affect the audio that's happening on these clips, so let's go ahead and change it over to video only mode. Now all I need to do is find the portion of video where we want to create the comparison. Then from there, I can just push two on my keyboard and that will automatically create a cut and swap out that footage. If we zoom in here, you'll see that that has created a dotted line. Now something you should know is that you can actually select that dotted line and delete it if you want. To. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and leave the changes made here. So you can see this is shot A, this is shot B. After that, go on over into our transitions and scroll to the very bottom where you'll find wipes. And here you'll see we have a whole bunch of options for wipes. The one we wanna use is the regular wipe. So I'm just gonna click and drag that onto my timeline. Parking my playhead at the middle of our footage, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this angle viewer by pushing Command Shift 7. Looking at our footage, you can see that there is a nice feathered line between the two different shots, but it's perfectly synchronized, so this lines up really nicely. What's really cool about the wipe transition is we can adjust the direction of the wipe by using these on-screen controls, as well as adjusting the width of the wipe. So if you want a sharp line, you can drag that all the way down to zero, or we can expand that. Additionally, we can come on over here to the right side and locate the edge treatment settings. Go ahead and expand that out, and down here, you'll see that we have the edge type. Right now, it's set to feathering, which is going to give us that nice soft blend, but we can change it from feathering over to a solid color. And you'll notice that that has now created this nice solid line. We can set the color on this line to whatever we want. So maybe I'll make it a bright red color. We can also adjust how wide that line is by clicking and dragging on our border settings. And what's super cool is this all works with the angle adjustments. So we can just drag this so it's going corner to corner. And just like that, we've created a really simple looking comparison view animation. So I'll push play and you can see the wipe take place. Additionally, you can expand out the duration of this by clicking and dragging on the edges of the transition. And so that gives gives us a much slower animation that we can work with. And finally, one last super cool feature is that you don't just have to use the wipe transition. You can also use stuff like this chevron transition. I'll go ahead and slow that down quite a bit. We'll change the edge treatment on that over to a solid color. I'll go ahead and set it to a nice white. And if we go ahead and push play, you'll see we have this beautiful transition playing across the screen. If it's too thick, we can go ahead and shrink down the width on that chevron. So it's really up to you how you want this animation to look, but it's very simple to apply. And by throwing it inside of that multicam, you know that your footage is always going to be perfectly synchronized. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may wanna check out this video 
where I show you why the cross dissolve transition might have more features than you first might suspect. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.